New at six, piles of debris illegally dumped along Highway 180 in Fort Morgan earlier this week have been picked up. Deputies say the man caught on camera dumping the construction debris has now removed it. NBC 15's James Gordon takes a closer look at how the law was applied in this case. First of all, people need to know there are three debris landfills in Baldwin County, one in Gulf Shores, a second in Magnolia Springs, and the McBride landfill in Loxley. The issue is you have to pay to use the landfill, and some people just don't want to do that. The environmental division tracked down the man in these pictures and gave him the opportunity to do the right thing. What can you do when you have the evidence like that? Right. There's a couple avenues we could take. Uh, in, in, in particular, in this case, we were able to identify, or our environmental division with the uh, county was able to identify who this person was, and they ended up contacting him and required him and asked him to go back, pick up the stuff that he had discarded, and to also take it to a landfill and be able to, to prove that he had taken it by giving them a receipt. And that's what happened in this case. Investigators say this man was caught on camera Thursday dumping debris with this sign in plain sight across the street. He will not be identified and will not be charged. The same went down in a similar case along the water at Orange Beach this week. The day after Orange Beach police posted these pictures of marine debris on the banks of the canal, it too was removed by the person who dumped it here. And by doing the right thing, he was not charged. James, in general, if a deputy were to pull up on someone who is dumping, you know, refuse on the side of the road, uh, that that is a, uh, it's against state law. It's a in the code, and it's a custodial arrest situation, which means you will be arrested, you will go to the county jail, and you will have to post a bond. Catching someone in the act is not always easy, but it's the law, and now the sheriff's office will have more eyes on patrol. So we have uh, two, two patrol deputies that are going to be permanently assigned to the Fort Morgan area as a beach patrol. So we're going to have a, a, a bigger presence uh, down there for the, for the spring and the summer. A group called the Fort Morgan Civic Association is calling for fines to be increased from $500 to $5,000 as a deterrent. And since Highway 180 in Fort Morgan is a state highway, it would take legislative action to make that happen. In Baldwin County, James Gordon, NBC 15 News.